Hi, this is Coach Eddie Thomas, and this is CCS Sports Night. Hi, this is Coach Eddie Thomas, and welcome into this edition of CCS Sports Night. Coming up this week, our special feature is on Coach Bill Thompson, longtime CCS varsity boys basketball coach. But before we get to that feature, let's check the night's scoreboard and the night's calendar. the night scoreboard. It's time now for this week's special feature on longtime CCS varsity boys basketball coach Bill Thompson. Bill Thompson has been a fixture in the Cary Christian basketball program for more than a decade. Now in his 12th year. I'm about to complete my 12th year overall. I coached uh, three years of middle school goal team, and then one year at JV, and then this is my eighth year at varsity. His basketball coaching career actually started as a coach for recreation basketball for the town of Cary. Actually, I coached four years of town of Cary rec ball before okay. I even had kids. And then uh, after we had kids, both of them played, and I coached uh, AAU for both of them for several years and rec ball for both of them for several years. And then, of course, Jason, I coached here for seven years. Coach Thompson loves the game, loves teaching, and enjoys the time with his players. The kids, I love the game of basketball, and I, I love teaching, And but there are so many things uh, besides basketball that you teach. At rec league, you don't get as much time with the kids. Maybe one practice a day, a week, and then a game. But here, you, you see them almost every day of the week for 13 weeks during the season, plus during the summers and spring. So it's it's really special to spend time with the guys and see them mature. Hmm. When his son Jason was moving up to middle school, CCS just happened to be looking for a coach for the gold team, and he accepted the offer. When we enrolled our kids, Jason was going into fifth grade, and the summer of, before he entered fifth grade, they invited him to come to the. Uh, middle school camp even though he's only in fifth grade mm -hmm. um, because I knew one of the coaches John Pettit mm -hmm. through uh, Hoop City AAU and John said hey, bring him to the camp and so then I started kind of helping with the camp and then when Jason was a sixth grader they needed a goal coach so I interviewed with Frank Hollowell at the time mm -hmm. who was the athletic director mm -hmm. and I said I don't know if you've got anybody other candidates he said no we don't so I was basically 
After two years coaching the gold team and winning two conference tournament championships over NRCA, Coach Thompson moved up to the JV team for a season, won another conference championship, then moved up with Jason to become the varsity coach, where he's been since the 2013 season. Coach says the hardest parts about being the head coach at the high school level are making cuts and issuing playing time. There's two hardest parts at high school level really is one is cutting athletes if we have to, which in the early days at CCS we had to beg guys to come out and now the last several years we've had too many so we had to have made cuts. And then once you get into the season, not having everybody play as much as they want. And you could see that some kids work hard. Maybe it's just talent or maybe it's just too many guys ahead of them at that position or game situations. So that's the hardest part is not letting kids play as much as they probably think they deserve. His coaching style emphasizes team play and he believes that's the key to competing well and winning here at Cary Christian. We've had some really good players here, but we do not compete well against better teams unless we play as a team. Mm -hmm. And uh, So we try to be unselfish. We try and teach team offense and team defense. Very little one-on-one. -on -one. There are times we have advantages. We, we like to have certain guys go one-on-one. -on -one. But uh, to keep everybody involved, especially in practice, even with guys that don't necessarily play games, really help their teammates via their practice habits and just be a team. We, we cannot compete with some of these powerhouses unless we have team play, both offensive and defensive. That philosophy of stressing team play actually started during his days coaching recreation basketball. I remember that, uh, especially in rec ball, one or two guys can really change the game, which when you have rec ball, anybody can sign up. Uh, they have drafts to try and equalize things, but uh, it really taught me to really focus on individual matchups to try and, again, going back to playing as a team, just, it, other teams usually had one or two guys that we had to stop. So just playing as a team and getting kids that don't even know each other to play together, and that, that was the thing that really, when we got here, is, uh, playing as a team, because you're in class every day together, they're, they're best friends and they're playing together, and it is, it's, it's just really fun to watch. My last two years of, of goal coach, we won the tournament championship, we didn't win the regular season, and um, we had a rule back then, you had to play everybody in every game, so there were some games where, you know, we might have won had we not had to do that, but everybody got in, then we get to the tournament, that rule didn't exist, and uh, we played really, really well and upset some teams at you know, NRCA had happened to me two years in a row. Nice. Once on their home court and once on a neutral facility. So those, those really stuck out in mm -hmm. my uh, middle school years. In his second and third seasons coaching the varsity, Coach Thompson's Knights won the conference regular season and tournament championships and qualified for the state tournament. My second and third years we won the regular season undefeated in the epic. Um, and then we beat St. David's each of those two years in the conference championship, a tournament championship, went to states. Back then you had to win the conference to go to states. Uh, now every team in each classification gets a bid if they want to accept it. Uh, so there was a lot of pressure in the regular season games. And then once you win the regular season, you don't want to lose the tournament. Uh, obviously those were some really good memories. Along with those good memories, there have been some hard losses as well. Tough ones. Uh, last two years to grace this past uh, Friday, very difficult. Um, and I know the guys won't forget it for a long time, either will I, but uh, you know, we did a lot of great things this year. And the sun came up on Saturday and we're going to move on. Even after coaching the same group of players for seven years from middle school through high school, including his son Jason, Bill Thompson stayed on to coach. Obviously, just because of when we came to school, when I started coaching, I had that one group of of kids for seven years, mm -hmm. middle school, JV, and varsity. And um, I really, you know, just those were my guys for seven years. Mm -hmm. uh, and after they moved on, some folks didn't think I would coach, but I love coaching here and mm -hmm. develop bonds with other players. And, and now there are guys that have graduated since my son graduated who come back and play in our alumni game that mm -hmm. I just really love to see. Uh, so, I mean, there's just so many memories throughout the year. Just, you know, the, the road trips, stopping at Chick fil A or or cook out after a big win on the road, or, or going to IHOP after a big win here in Cary, and uh, just those are the memories, being together with the guys and, and celebrating some really big achievements. Coach Thompson really loves coaching here at CCS. The great thing about coaching here is we're a K through 2 at 12 school, and we have, I've got kids now that are playing for me at varsity that came to the youth camp that I started after Coach Thomas left 
who are third and fourth, fifth graders are now playing on varsity. And the connections you make with the parents, the teachers here, the, the faculty. I've just had some great assistant coaches. Uh, Coach Ellis, uh, Caleb's dad was with me for those seven years. And then after Caleb graduated, Scott Dixon joined me and he brought so many new things to us. And just, I couldn't have done it in the last five years without him. And, and after his son Josh graduated, he, he wanted to stay. And so we've been doing this together. And so just the relationship with all the people, the kids, the, the adults, the faculty has just been fantastic here. Being able to coach his son Jason here was special. That's the hardest thing, but the, the greatest thing too. Coach Bill Thompson, certainly one of the special, dedicated, and faithful coaches we have here at Cary Christian School. This is Coach Eddie Thomas for CCS Sports Night. Hope you enjoyed this week's feature on Coach Bill Thompson. Thanks for watching and join us again next week for another edition of CCS Sports Night.